So if you are a creative woman who wants to start a business, you're probably telling yourself that you can't stay focused and that you don't have the time to really do the work. You might be telling yourself that you don't know how. All of these things are surmountable. You can figure all of this out. But the problem is when you don't have focus. Because what happens to creative women is squirrel, shiny object. What else can I do? What's happening elsewhere in the world, right? And so if this is what you're struggling with, the first thing I want you to do is stop blaming yourself. This is not your fault. There's nothing wrong with you. You are living in a place in the world where we have a lot of distractions. For creative women, this is especially a problem. So they can't stay focused. So they tell themselves they don't have time to start their business or they don't know how to start their business. And so there's something you can do to stay focused. I want you to think about how many things come into your world. Hi, Megan. How many things come into your world when you're working on a task? You've said, okay, today I am going to write my social media plan for the next week. And then suddenly your brain is like, what's happening on Instagram? Did anybody respond to that post that I did? What about my Insta story? Oh, I need to do an Insta story. Let me, let me do that now. And then I'll come back and then I'll write my social media plan for the next week. And what the hell are we going to eat for dinner? I better go in and take something out of the freezer so that tonight we can actually eat dinner without having to go out. And oh my God, I never flushed the toilet after I used it. I mean, your brain will just start to flood with all the things that you should be doing, which makes it so that you never have time and you don't know how to start your business. This is all very normal for especially busy creative women. We are so used to taking care of everybody else that our stuff seems kind of indulgent. It seems kind of like, oh, I don't, I'm not really making any money in my business or, I'm not, or I can't really do this. So we let these thoughts come in. So the thing I want you to do when you're trying to focus is I want you to write out what you're doing. I want you to, to write out, I am, and then create the task. I am writing my social media for next week. I want you to have it written out. Because until you have it written out, your brain will get so noisy that it will cloud what you wanna do. The second thing I want you to do, I want you to turn your phone either off or in airplane mode where it doesn't bing or chime or buzz or vibrate while you are doing this work. The next thing I want you to do is to give yourself only a certain amount of time to do it. And only you can know how much time that actually takes. So I'm somebody who can work for 45 to 60 minutes and get something done. I can focus for a long time, but a lot of my clients can't. A lot of my clients are like 45 minutes. Are you insane? So maybe for you, it's 25 minutes or even 15 minutes. Do you know the last time that you did something for 15 minutes without interruption? I mean, I really want you to think about this. Do you remember the last time you even watched a TV show without being on a second screen and playing a game or using uh, social media? We are no longer good at focusing for one on one thing for a short amount of time, much less an extended amount of time. And to get your business up and going, it takes an extended amount of time. I want you to do that in short bursts. So you've written it down. You've stated your intention. I am going to. You've turned off your distractions and you've given yourself a certain number of minutes. Make it so that the, the timer goes off audibly so that you don't keep picking up and checking your phone to see how many minutes have gone by. Next, expect discomfort. Expect your brain to go, yes, I've been struggling with exactly this. I've been using the Focus app to help with this and it's so helpful to have a set time limit. I'm writing down your strategies. Yay! Thanks, Megan. I'm glad they're helpful. So uh, setting the intention and writing it out um, turning off your distractions, setting a timer that you don't have to look at that will just chime at you. But the last step is expect noise in your head. Expect to be uncomfortable because this is what's going to happen. You're going to be like, la, 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 I know what I'm going to do for the next seven days. I even know what pictures I'm going to use. And now I have to write the posts that go along with them. And then your brain is going to be like, but that's the hard part because I don't like writing. Or you're going to write all your posts out and you're going to be like, 
but what visuals are you going to use? Because that's really the hard thing for you. Hi, mom. So whatever the hard thing is, your brain's going to want to tell you, no, 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 you need to go do research. You need to get on Google. You need to look at that Facebook group. You need to text your friend and ask her for help. That, even if you've put all of those other steps in place, you've written it out, you've cleared the deck and you don't have distractions, you've told the people in your life not to come in here because I'm working and you've set a timer. Even if you've done those three things, you will not focus unless you expect the distraction, expect the discomfort to come in and push through it. You can push through it, I promise you, because you've done harder shit than this before. But your brain is gonna be like, no, this is really uncomfortable, I don't wanna do it. And it will give you a thousand other things to do. But here's some strategies. Tell your brain, look, I know you're just trying to make me feel better. I know you're trying to keep me safe and efficient because that's your job. But right now, the most efficient thing that you could do for me, brain, is help me finish this task. I can then cross it off my list and breathe again. I can feel good about myself. In brain, in 15 minutes, you will get relief. But you can do hard things and you can push through for 15 minutes or whatever your work block is. So I want to know, do you use work blocks? That's the first thing. Or are you one of those creative women who's like hair is on fire and you're like, actually, I'm gonna do this at the same time I'm doing that and I'm gonna be online in pickup and I'm doing my business because that makes you feel like shit, my friend. So I don't want you to feel like shit because the women who feel like shit don't get their businesses up off the ground. So which of these strategies have you already tried and have you tried step four, which is expect the discomfort and push through it by having some chat, having a chat with your brain and like soothing your brain and letting your brain know it's going to be fine in 15 minutes. What works for you? And where are you struggling? Because I love helping people with this stuff. Let me know what is the moment where, you're, where you go off the rails. What are you not willing to do? I promise you, creative women who are the what ifs of the world, even they can have businesses that they run where they don't feel like the business is running them. You just have to know when to expect the discomfort and how to push through it. If this is helpful, let me know. If you have questions, let me know. But most of all, if you're a woman who wants to take her business out of her head or to the next level, follow me. I love talking about this stuff. I give away a whole bunch of free stuff. You can follow my blogs. You can follow my videos. And actually tonight I am hosting uh, a coach who's going to talk about how to feel better. That's Sharmin Wengender. And she's going to be with me tonight talking about how to feel better. And if you want to feel better, show up here or come back later for the replay. Thank you for being with me. I'd love to chat with you. Drop a note. Bye.